Yo, what's good? It's Issues, and these are our early years. You heard it here first. Pew, 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 pew. Ours? Our first, first. Ever, our first ever band practice as Issues? Mine was sick. Can I tell that story? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh, Issues had already been a thing um, for a little bit. I was like a session guy, and I had been just trying to like find a gig. And I was like, hey, like, let me be the bass player. They're like, oh, no, this guy is prettier than you. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, anyways, that guy couldn't play. So, uh, I was in LA and I did the whole, like, go and try and do the music, uh, industry thing. Your whole living situation falls apart. You have no money. You fly home with your tail in between your legs and regroup, try to go back. Right. On the layover going back home. Cause I was flying home. My mom bought my ticket. Shout out mom. Uh, my brother who scout, who's gotten low file or DJ or whatever. Um, he texted me. He's like, Hey, you still want to be in the band? I'm like, uh, I got nothing better to do. So I was home for two or three days, flew to Atlanta, practiced for what, three days? And then we went on tour with Silverstein? Mm -hmm. It was sick. What a what a whirlwind of emotions. I remember <laughs> Sky. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It they is. joined My, at different times. Yeah, so Sky joined, what, two, <laughs> two or three months before me, right? Right. My first band practice ever with them was not a practice, but when we shot Hooligans. Right, and it was in a warehouse. I mean, you can see the video, but yeah, it was that was the first time we ever had because like we had jammed in my basement, but it wasn't like you know we we shot hooligans and then we wrote self titled. It right. pretty much was it. It pretty much was at that point we knew that we could like everybody's such good musicians that they they just practice on their own, Aww. and then we get together and we can like honestly play for like one or two days and we're ready to go because everybody just has that kind of discipline well until headspace because headspace was very hard yeah but yeah. <laughs> yeah now it takes us it takes us a lot longer now <laughs> but i don't know we're pretty uh persistent about that kind of stuff nowadays our sure. first show together first with show. josh i guess if we oh. if we <coughs> consider it uh oh. it was sick yeah was if we consider it, it oh no it was uh your first show was uh southampton up here was it? No, it was Chain. Chain, Chain Reaction. Is. We did like a secret show yeah. at Chain Reaction. Oh, that was the yeah. first to introduce show. him and yeah. like and yeah. Right. So yeah, we we have been playing for like you know almost a year together before Josh came around, and probably like eight months before Josh came around. Uh, but we played at Chain Reaction, a small venue in Anaheim, California. We had just filmed a video to introduce Josh on the internet. And we played kind of a secret show there. It was sold out. It was just fucking insane. Yeah. The subs in that place are literally legendary. So, legend, fucking legend, mate. John Frusciante, John Mayer, and John Ramos. John Ramos. No, John Stamos. <laughs> Stamos. God damn it. Yeah, I was like, who's, who's this? I that probably the, probably good. just them two. I think that's like kind of what really made me get into like the more funky stuff. And what was the other half? Did I get to? No, unfortunately not. No. Um, my biggest one when I was a teenager was uh, Ryan Martini, and no, because I he has no social media. I would love to stalk him and punish him and ask him about bass, but I can't. Uh, let's see. My. Biggest childhood heroes were um, Usher, Brandy Norwood, Gerard Way, and Brody Dale. And I've not met Brody in person, but we text every now and then and we've talked. Um, I've not met Gerard Way. I have not met Usher, but I was in the studio at the same time as him two doors down before Counts. and Counts. definitely like was like uh, freaking out <laughs> and we were this close to meeting Brandy once right right but I'll wait my time will come I promise <laughs> uh, Gavin Harrison Porcupine Tree mm -hmm. I haven't met him <coughs> uh, Thomas Pridgen which we did meet him came out to a show super oh, nice um, Eric Moore which we were able to meet too um, probably Travis Barker, teenage me, yeah. Oh yeah. And we've never kicked it with him, but not yet. Yeah, I know Ty is working with him, so mm -hmm. Ty He's heard our music. He's heard our music. He said Josh banged. was sick. He's headbanged to our music. Oh, you know what? Shout out Travis Barker. Yes. <laughs> we want to hang with you. 
Also, you know what? We all met Mike Shinoda. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. That's sick. I forgot. Sorry, Mike. Oh yeah, very true. Very Def- true. Reanimation changed my life. <laughs> yeah, that was at Warped. I, I just remember looking over, and it was a really good set. Thank God. And right. he was just there, like <laughs> bobbing his head, and I was like, oh, "Gotta go hard now." <laughs> I was just like, "Wow, I'm playing way better than I usually." Yeah, 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 <laughs> I exactly. will add. I will add. We did get to meet and hang out with Chester Bennington too. He was definitely an influence as well. And Tyler did. Rest I in did. peace. 